Okay, let's go to the first quarter, and Werner moves the ball on its first possession, and watch Vikings talent, the junior quarterback, Matt Saltis, roll to his right and pick up a first down here with this 20-yard gain to midfield. Then on the next play, watch junior tailback Byron Zavisky make this nice spin move here as he gets knocked down after a 14-yard gain, and the Vikes are moving against a very highly regarded East Orange campus squad. But the Vikings drive ends here on downs. Watch this great hit by Najee Williams, but Nick Pascarella of Vernon bounces right up, but he is shy of the first down. All right, Vernon forces an East Orange punt, and on its next possession, watch this amazing athletic play by Matt Soltis of Vernon as he leaps over the Jaguar defender for 10 yards and a first down to the East Orange 31, but Vernon once again turns the ball over on downs. East Orange tries to get something going here and watch Dominique Carter break free as he heads up the left sideline, but Vernon's Matt Sheeran saves a touchdown and drags him down after a big 47-yard gain deep in Vernon territory. But Vernon turns up the heat on defense. Watch Ricky Lombardi make this stop in the backfield for a loss, and the Vikings, who played a great defensive game, come up big there. And Lombardi does it again here. Watch him track down East Orange quarterback Justin LaRota for a big sack to stomp the Jaguars and fourth down. The Vernon defense was tough all night, folks. Vernon gets the ball back and watch Matt Soltis, who did a great job scrambling all night, breaks free here for a 13-yard game, but Vernon's forced to punt again. Okay, after a great Soltis punt pins the Jaguars deep in their own territory, East Orange quarterback Justin LaRoti tosses the screen pass to Dominic Carter, and the Vikings sniff it out, but watch Carter. He reverses field and takes off, shaking tacklers before being finally dragged down just inside Vernon territory. What an effort by Carter. And the Jags make good on that run here as Justin LaRoti hits Damian Thomas on this quick out. And he takes it in for the first score of the game from 9 yards out. And it's 7-0 with 8.37 left in the first half. Vernon has a golden opportunity here on this bad snap by the Jags in a punt attempt. And Vernon takes over on the East Orange 17-yard line. But once again, the Vikings can't find the end zone and turn the ball over and downs after this incomplete pass in the end zone. But believe it or not, folks, the Vikes get another chance here as the Jags fake the punt, but Vernon stops Dominic Carter short of the first down, and Vernon is set up at the East Orange 30. But the snake-bitten Vikes once again can't punch it in as they fumble after this nice middle screen pass, and East Orange once again comes up with a big defensive play. Vernon gets another chance here as East Orange fumbles deep in its own territory late in the first half, but the Vikings run out of time, and the Jaguars take a 7-0 lead at the half. Okay, we go to the third quarter, and Vernon has some success moving the ball. Watching Matt Sheeran take off around the left 10 here for this big game for the Vikings. But the Vikings can't get it done again in the red zone. And after pounding the ball on the ground for most of the fourth quarter, Justin LaRoti takes to the air here and hits a streaking Damian Thomas on this perfectly thrown seam pattern with 5.50 left in the game as the Jags hold on to a hard-fought 14-0 win over the Vikings at a windy and rainy Anthony Massarino Field at Vernon Township High School played outstanding as far as effort goes. Uh, we didn't capitalize on some opportunities that we had and uh, and you know we're, we're gonna go to the drawing board and, and keep coaching and keep keep this this group great effort played their hearts out and they're coachable so the mistakes that we're making right now they will fix. Everybody said we were gonna get sma like smashed like we did what we had to do we're a young team and we're gonna come out swinging every time. When Vernon looks back at this they'll say it was a game of missed opportunities. Frustrating. Very. I don't know how many varies I could say. It's frustrating, you know, of course, but, you know, I don't know. We, we just got to work at it. We got to get better. We had a good defense. We kept it going, but when we got down to offense, we just need to patch some things up. A lot of people thought East Orange campus would come in here and run all over the Vikings, but this young Viking defense held tough. Aggression and people's doubts. That's what made me feel and made I got the defense up. We just, we got it together. And then when people said we were going to lose really badly, we just thought about it and then we said that's not going to happen on our turf. Vernon coach Chuck Tepper is frustrated that they couldn't score, but these are fixable mistakes, he said. That's just it. We, well, there's some good things in this. I mean, we played great defense, I thought, today. Uh, that, that's a contender in Group 4, and uh, defensively, we had them 7 nothing for the longest time. Uh, offensively, we need to eliminate the mistakes. I mean, that's the bottom line. You said it before with the six chances or whatever it was, and, you know, we, we need to capitalize. We, you know, we can't be having snaps going over our quarterback's head. We can't. We, we run a middle screen, and we get 20, 30 yards. You can't fumble the football. Uh, we we, we got to do things better offensively, and we will. I mean, we're going to go to the drawing board right now. We just got to keep hitting every week like no matter what we can't take a break we're young but we're gonna be older eventually we got to work to every game so Del Barton is next and we'll work towards that this is a very young Vernon team and they're gonna get better every week 
a lot of guys were playing in their first football game tonight, which is not an, and I don't want to make an excuse, but what I'm saying is now they got a game under their belts. They know what it's all about. I, I'm hoping for better things to come, and I, I know they will. Uh, they're a great group. It's a young group, uh, and they're excited, so not so much right now, but we'll get them ready to go for next week.